Okay. Is there anyone here that this meeting is being recorded? Sounds. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Hi everyone. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm Ashraf Abi Said, and I am the one of the founders of the Gaming Academy. So welcome. You're going to meet the team in a bit. Uh, we have Sasha over here as well. Hi, Sasha. Hi. We have uh, Karim. We have Fuad. Uh, you're you're, you're going to meet all of them in a bit. Uh, we have Hex. He's on the call as well. Hadi. But anyway. So um, I can see some old faces and some new faces, and I'm very happy to, uh, to have all of you here today. So we're just gonna go through a very quick summary of what the Gaming Academy is, what you're gonna expect from us, and then we'll open, up, open it up to questions. So uh, in case you have anything that wasn't clear, we can make it clear and uh, you know, we'll move forward with this. So uh, the Gaming Academy started from something called Khadid Beirut, which is now called Sale for Change. And the point of it was to have people creatively make games and enjoy themselves and, uh, you know, expand their own horizons. So this is why we wanted to help people learn how to make games, because when I first wanted to make my game, I wanted to try to make something like Skyrim. And uh, one of our participants in our first year tried to do that, and that did not work very well. So we teach you how to start slow and how to grow from there. So generally, the Gaming Academy, its direction of movement is towards having you become creators, thinkers, organizers, people that are just very proud of who they are and are able to create so many different things, all right? Um, the Gaming Academy is made up of people from all over the MENA region or the SWANA region. So some of you heard of us from, from Instagram, some of you from universities, Facebook, friends, uh, you've been in the Discord server before. So there are a ton of people from all over. And um, basically we bring all of you together so that you can make games together. So some of our partners are Khadid Beirut, obviously, uh, the American University of Beirut, Arabic Games. I think some of you came from that server over there. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Arabic Games is a uh, conference that's held every year. And we usually have uh, you know, professionals from the industry come and give talks. Uh, I think it's almost all exclusively in Arabic. And the talks that are not in Arabic are usually, uh, they have subtitles that are in Arabic. But if Arabic is more your thing, uh, that's one of the places to be. Uh, we have Moha Games and Swana Academy Awards as some of our uh, partners, Falafel Games as another. There are a ton, but we didn't, you know, we couldn't really fit all of them in, uh, in this one slide. So these are just some of them. And finally, there's the Game Zanga. Uh, so the Game Zanga is relatively new at this point as one of our partners. And for those of you that don't know, uh, they hold uh, the largest Arabic game jam in the region or, or in the world actually. So they have a jam on July 13 to 17. So we will remind you about it when it happens. Uh, I'm signed up for it. I'm very excited. So I just sent three links. The first one is for the HIO jam. The second one is for their website. And the third one is for the sign up form. So please make sure to sign up so that you can get the emails and know where uh, it's held in each of your countries. I know that Egypt is involved in multiple places. Lebanon is involved. I know Iraq is involved for sure. Um, there are a ton of countries, you can just check it out and you will, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get to know more about it. This, to a certain extent, is targeted towards people that have a bit of experience in game development. And we will be using this as a way for you to experience it in a very safe environment. So we encourage you to join the Game Jam because it's going to be a ton of fun and you're going to learn a lot. And you're going to be able to meet up with the people that you've met on the server and expand on what you would like to learn. So let's say you're an artist, you can meet up with different developers and create a game that you're interested in. Let's say you're a musician and you wanted to create music for multiple games, you can also see what works best for you and join them. But anyway, this is not about the game Zanga, this is about the Gaming Academy. Um, so some of our supporters as well, uh, if you came from a certain uh, community by the way and would like to would like us to have you on there as well, let us know. Best we have Lab Game Dev, Egypt, Sudan, Palestine, Morocco. Uh, we have the uh, Game Dev Club at uh, AUS, the Syrian Game Developers, Tunis. Uh, we also have the uh, uh, the Game Dev Club at AUB, among others. Let's come in, we didn't put all of them over here. You can see everyone on the website. And again, is that you did come from a certain university or somewhere that you would like to, would like to have them added as a supporter, just let us know, all right? Um, so this is also part of our team. So we have Dr. Wasim al Hajj. He will be joining us at around seven, I think, uh, to just you know give you a couple of words of encouragement. Uh, Dr. Wasim al Hajj was the one that came up with the idea of the Gaming Academy, and the team below has been implementing it for at least a year, if not uh, the past three. Uh, so there's me. 
I'm Ashraf. There is Sasha, who is also here. Uh, we have Fuad, who's the tech lead. So Sasha was the one that designed all the beautiful, uh, uh, this actually, everything that you've seen so far visually, it's basically been Sasha's work along with Elisa and Lean. So they've done, you know, really, really good work. So, you know, clap, clap, clap. Uh, we have uh, Hexadus. He is uh, a part of the UAE um, dev group. Uh, we have Mika, who's going to be giving the music sessions, and he has been helping us out a lot. Yes, wonderful. I love the chat. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Uh, we also have a few people that aren't on the list, such as Hadi, who's been helping with uh, come in, uh, reaching out to different communities. Shadi, who is like Hadi, but with an extra S. Uh, we have Rafif, who has got a, a few of the instructors that you're going to meet. So it's just a ton of different people. They are all on the website and you can just, you know, go and thank them personally because they've done a phenomenal job. So educators, who exactly is going to teach you at the Gaming Academy? Just to give you a brief summary, the way the Gaming Academy works is we want you to learn how to make games as efficiently as possible. And we want you to enjoy what you're doing. So this is why we wanted to get some of the best game devs that we know to teach you how to do this. So we have Rami Ismail, for example, who basically Anyone that is in game dev that's an Arab more or less goes to him for advice. He's a really amazing consultant. We've talked to him about a ton of games and he's gonna be giving some of the business sessions. We have Bayan who's currently working on Forza if I'm not mistaken. So uh, she has a bit of experience with really big companies and is also starting her own. We have Fauzi Nismar who is the vice president of uh, part of the global creative at Ubisoft. He's worked on all kinds of games. So Candy Crush, um, My Little Pony, uh, Star Wars, and uh, Super Mario Rabbids. So he's literally done things from all over the place. Uh, Osama Dorias is someone that I highly respect and I've really loved talking to him so many times. He is like the teddy bear of the games industry. Um, he does not work at EA actually, he's been moving around. So he worked at, um, he previously was, I think he's currently working on Overwatch among other things. Uh, he's worked on, uh, if you've ever been on a plane, there's a very high chance that you've played a game that he has made. We have Nicolas Wajan, uh, who will most likely be giving the design course, and he has worked on a game called Sky Children of Light. So if you know that game company, you know he's from there. Uh, then for developers, we have um, Muhammad Kutub and Fuad uh, that are going to be you know, helping with the development. So um, Fuad has been working, actually both of them have been working in games for a few years now. I think Kutub is in Germany and Fuad is in Lebanon at the moment. Uh, some of our other educators, uh, Egypt friends, you might know Marie. Uh, she is working on a visual novel by herself and she's a really amazing illustrator. She has her own website and has been working on, um, on her own game for quite a while now. Omar Khouri has created, uh, he's worked on pixel art and he's led different art teams. So if any of you are uh, fans of Adonis and you've seen the Ada video, he was the one that led this project. And the person that animated it was Ala Flayfil. So Ala Flayfil is a freelance animator. He's an award-winning uh, artist who has created a few short films that have won uh, awards literally all over the world. Uh, yes, clap if you're an artist, please. This is for Karim. Uh, we also have Jenna Yao as the narrative designer. So Jenna Yao works at Soft Not Week and is currently co-op. Uh, so they're working on a game called Goodbye Volcano High about dinosaurs that are waiting for the meteor to hit. So that's been, it's, it's a really interesting uh, visual novel. And finally, we have Mika, who has been helping us out with uh, sound design and music composition for a while, and is working currently on What Remains of Ish, a game that uh, a few of his friends and himself started. So the friends are, again, such a flood. All right. So how does the program work? Today is July 5, we have the intro session. This is exactly what's happening. And then from there onwards, you're gonna be learning about game design fundamentals. You're gonna be pitching your game to different publishers and uh, learning about development, art. We're gonna help you build a team because we realize that every year uh, we have people that are a bit lost about how they can work on games together. So this is where the team building course comes in. So if you are looking for a team, if you want to find people that might uh, work on something with you, this is the perfect place to start. We have narrative design, uh, again by Jenna, then game design, art, project management design, and then development, art, development, art, music. All right, so this is like a very brief summary. You can look at it again on our website, it's all there. And the point of the program is for you to finish by making a game. 
We want you to have something that you can put on your CV. We want you to have something that is on your portfolio. We want you to have something that you can expand on by yourself or with our help. Now, when I say with our help, I mean that we will be offering advice on the Discord server. We have a lot of experienced developers all around. So whenever you throw in a question, there's a very good chance that someone who knows what they're doing will help you out with this as well. All right. So generally what we expect from you is we want you to learn, all right? We want you to have fun while you learn. It's very important for us that you take everything that we can give you and you expand on it, all right? We want, we know that you have the potential to create something great and we want to help you get to that point, all right? So the reason we have so many courses and we're repeating them is for you to find your niche and expand on it, okay? We want you to have as much fun as possible. So watch the courses that you most enjoy, find the team that you love to work with and create a game, okay? So one important thing as well that we're doing this year is we are going to give you access to folders that you can put your own work into. So let's say you are an artist and you created a character and you're very proud of this character and you want others to use it in their game. You can share it and they will credit you for creating this character. And then from there, you'll be able to um, basically help out multiple games in being made by creating the assets yourself. If you're a developer, you might be writing code and for example, a character controller that allows you to jump. So you can put this uh, character controller inside a specific folder and then when people run it, they will, uh, they'll they credit you for, for the work that you've done. Same thing with music, same thing with design, et cetera, et cetera, all right? So the recordings of the workshops are going to be available. We are going to record almost everything. Uh, this, this depends on what the instructor is giving and whether they have, uh, whether it can be posted and published online or not. So I highly recommend that you watch Falsi's course because this one's not gonna be recorded. That's for tomorrow. So this is just something to keep in mind. The rest so far are all going to be recorded, all right? So some of you have asked us questions as well about the homework and the submissions. You will be asked every week to submit something specific for your game. We're gonna start, for example, you know, just off the top of my head, uh, you're gonna start with your core mechanic with a basic design for what the level is gonna look like. Uh, we may ask you to create you know, a very basic character as well because when you're starting the character session, you have a chance to ask all of the instructors any questions you have. And we really encourage that you come with a certain design, a certain piece of uh, code, a certain uh, music pack or something of the sort that you're interested in getting feedback on. And then from there, they'll be able to help you a lot more. All right. So you know what sessions are coming up so you can prepare early on to see what kind of help you can get from the instructor. Okay. Um, what you should expect from us. So we're going to have all the resources available to you on the Discord server. So anything that you see on there, you know, you can just use it. If there's anything that you believe we should add, just send it over and we can set it in our resources uh, channel, all right? Uh, you're gonna obviously get valuable learning experiences. You guys saw the devs, you know that they have uh, what it takes to, to create the games and to help you do that. Uh, you're gonna get certificates of completion from Sales for Change. And these certificates, uh, they, you, you know, you can put them on the CV, you can, you can show them off on LinkedIn, whatever you'd like. But what I would encourage you to do as well is to show off your game. Okay, the, the game that you make, the thing that you're going to create is so much more fun and so much more important than just the certificate of attending this kind of event. All right. We also always have the community. So whenever you ask a question, you're going to get an answer in one way or another. And most importantly, uh, given that the instructors, as I said before, are, you know, wonderful instructors from all over the world, you can ask them any question you have, and they will either refer you to someone who knows, or they can answer the question themselves. All right. Um, this gaming academy is free and we would like to keep it as free as possible. Uh, so we also want you to create something for yourself. So this is why everything that you create will be yours alone. Okay. If you, again, let's say, let's take the example of creating a character. If you want to share this character, go ahead and you can ask, for example, and I would like to be credited. Uh, if this is going to be a commercial game, then I would like to be paid for it. It's it, or you can just be like, you know, just go and enjoy it or something of the sort. So we want you to own everything that you make because it's yours and you've worked hard on it. So just experiment, enjoy, and don't worry about a thing basically from that end. Hala, if you ever post anything, we would love to be tagged in the stuff. So we're at Game Devs Mina everywhere on social media. So just, you know, uh, 
tell us that you you're uh, you, you did the thing and we you know like retweet we'll share it out with friends so it's going to be really really cool it's going to be very fun and again just be proud of whatever you're creating all right so for rules please 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 be human be kind we don't want harassment we don't want discrimination we don't want hate we want to have fun okay so just don't be a party pooper please okay we want to keep this as um let's say as as chill as possible especially considering the age range that we have this year for the gaming academy for let's all be civil let's all be as uh, respectful as possible because we're all coming from different backgrounds from literally all over the world at this point so just keep this in mind all right and if there's anything that you would like to report you can just find us i think we are currently in red we're the organizers so just you know tag us and uh, we'll see what we can do as quickly as possible um i think kareem and awax are most likely the ones that will answer quickly um they use discord more than most of us <laughs> to be honest so this is just something to keep in mind but akid yani we will always be around whenever you need something all right um can I have like a raise of hands of who knows, who has not used Discord before or who does not know what Discord is? You can raise your hand on, on, um, on what's it called, on Zoom, or you can just uh, throw a text in the meeting chat with like the claps. Okay, we have Amino. Okay, Taib. Okay, so we have a few people that have not used Discord before. So I will uh, give you a quick overview on this in a bit. But generally, the way it works, if anyone has used Slack, it's kind of like that. If anyone has used WhatsApp communities, it's kind of like that. If anyone has not used either of these, then the way it works is you have these things called channels that you can see over here. So for example, general chat EN is the general chat that you use for English. The general chat AR is for Arabic. Uh, in games, we can talk about games. In memes, we can send memes. Again, please keep them civil. YouTube videos are for things that you like, that you want to share, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? We really like the pets section. Share your pets if you have pets. We love this. Hala, the important stuff is in the importance section. That's how it works to a certain extent. Uh, when you entered into the Discord server, you most likely had to read the rules and click a certain thing so that you can get in. All right? Um, we are going to be sending the reminders on the announcements channel. So you can see that we're gonna have a session at some point. So just make sure to have the notifications on for announcements. Um, roles allow you to choose whether you're an artist, whether you're a designer, whether there's something that you would like to express yourself with, you can choose it in roles. For questions, you uh, if there's anything that you have that you want an answer to that has to do with the Gaming Academy as a whole, um, just send it over there. Team formation is when you wanna form a team with someone. Resources, do you remember? I told you if there's any resource that you believe uh, is good, you can send it over. We will post it in the resources folder. All right, self-promo is for anyone that's made their own games and uh, or uh, their own artwork or something of the sort that they're very proud of and they can send it over there. So I think we have Jeff Jefferson. He used to sometimes send, so we have the food channel for the food that he's made, but sometimes when he's very proud of something, he sends it to the self-promo. So, you know, you can use it just to promote whatever you're good at, all right? And finally, we have the game jam. And the game jams is just for anyone that's interested in joining, uh, in making games with other people, basically. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think this is more or less it. Uh, I saw someone ask a question about memes. You can send memes. We, I, I personally have the uh, the memes channel muted, so it's not going to bother me at all. As long as no one tags you with something inappropriate, I think it should be fine. Uh, all right. So I think. This is more or less it. Um, yeah, all right. So if anyone has any questions, uh, it's where the floor is open. Is there any of the organizers or volunteers want to say anything? Let me know as well. And uh, um, I do want to add something, sorry. Okay. Um, so um, this year, all our instructors are going to be working on the basis that uh, they're teaching, like that the, on the basis that most participants will be working on a platformer. Uh, we don't intend to have everybody, not everybody has to do one, but we strongly recommend if you're a beginner that you start by making a platformer, because I feel like scope is a little bit of a hard thing to, 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 to take into account when it's your first time. Uh, so I, I strongly advise all beginners to keep going and do a platformer, but feel free if you feel like you can to branch out. This is only so that people who've never made something before can end the summer with a small prototype. And yeah, 
also share your art, share your share your progress on the Discord. We love to see everything that you post, and we're so excited to see what you're all going to create. Oh yes, absolutely. Thank you, Sasha. This was very important. Uh, one more thing to add is usually we have like an after party of sorts. So whenever we finish a call and we want to hang out or something, uh, we usually do this in the voice chat in Discord. So I'm just going to show you more or less what Discord looks like. Um, ignore the stuff on the side. It doesn't matter, but that's okay. So um, can you all see my screen now? Let me know. Yep. Okay, fantastic. So over here on the right, you can see the organizers on the top, the volunteer over here, the bots. So anyone that anytime you have a question, you can go into the organizers, tap on them and ask them something if you see if you want to report something, if there's anything important that you think that we need to know. Okay. Uh, volunteers are basically people that are helping us out a lot. Um, bots are just, you can ignore these for a second for, you know, if, if you don't know what this is, it doesn't matter. All right. The mentors are going to be the people that are going to teach you. Uh, we had judges before, but you can ignore this as well. Um, developers are people that develop games, so code to a certain extent. We also have artists, designers. So artists are purple at the moment, designers are blue. Audio is uh, yellowish. Storytellers are purplish. And then we have you guys as participants. So if you are a participant and you would like a certain role, you can go into the roles section over here. Choose the country that, wow, that's a lot of Lebanese people. Okay, okay. <laughs> you can go into the roles section and then you can choose your role. So this is, for example, for your country. Over here is your preferred game engine. Here is for your pronouns. Uh, this is for your different roles and whatever you're interested in. So depending on this, you're going to get a certain uh, um, uh, color and a certain place to, to, you know, to be a part of it. So let's take Shaboy, for example. So he is a developer, artist, designer, Unity. He's a participant. He wants to be tagged in 2023 GA. So this is also there. He's from Lebanon and he will get announcements whenever we tag it. Okay. I can see y'all are jumping around here, which is wonderful. <laughs> All right. If anyone has questions, you can usually go over here. So uh, I'll just answer some of the questions that we have over here. Take it just as an example. Um, yeah. So how will teams come into play during the course? Um, again, this is something that we answered. Um, the way it works is you are going to work with other people to complete a platformer because we know that not everyone knows everything. So you can just use this to a certain extent. All right. Uh, team formation is for whoever is looking for something specific. Uh, you can say what you're good at, what you're looking for. So actually, Super did really well. So fantastic work. OK. Uh, and then basically, if you have like something that you want to say, you can just chat over here. There's something with Discord and really weird GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call them. So, you know, um, knock yourself out respectfully. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, that's more or less it. If you have any suggestions, we're always open to more. Uh, so yeah, just something to keep in mind. All right. Cool. I'm going to stop sharing screen now. <laughs> All right. Dr. Wasim is here. So we'll leave the floor to him as a she. Uh, right. Also, as a you have questions, just you know, keep keep setting them up, and we should be good to go. Hex. Yes, hex. Yeah, someone asked uh, if the co the course will be certified. So the course is going to get a certificate, but it's not going to be certified. Certification is a very complex process, so you will get a certificate. Um, but the certification is something that we are working on, but it's not available at the moment. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. Um, another question is after finding our group members, uh, what's the next step? Uh, make a game. <laughs> You're basically going to be following along with the homework that we've put for you. So you know what the next step should be. Lano, when I first started making my game, I really did not know what to do or where to start. But what I was lucky with is I started by learning from uh, different game developers. So I saw what they were doing and I followed along. So we're hoping that this makes it even easier to do. Okay. Do we need to have a team? No, you don't need to have a team. Uh, are the courses paced in such a way that it will be possible to juggle with the summer university classes and personal life things? Uh, I organized the thing and I was able to do it. I attended all of them during the first year. Uh, so I think if you are interested, then yes, I think it's absolutely possible. So, but again, Yanni, make sure that you don't bite off more than you can chew. It's very important that you um, pass and do well at university. 
So yeah, and again, all the sessions are recorded. So even if you're a bit late on watching stuff, it's totally fine. All right. Uh, Dr. Wasim, would you like to jump in? Hello, everyone. How are you? I, I just I, I just came uh, by invitation uh, to tell you welcome to the Gaming Academy. It has been uh, great. Uh, two past Gaming Academy uh, Academies that have been extremely successful uh, under the great work of uh, Ashraf and the team. Uh, the, the teams, uh, multiple teams, uh, helped him out at different uh, periods. I know he assembled a great team for this year. Uh, I am uh, Wasim al Hajj. I'm a professor at AUB at the American University of Beirut. I'm currently wearing another hat in the twin campus of AUB that they are doing in, um, in Cyprus, AUB Mediterraneo. And um, you have my support. Ashraf has my support in anything what they do. And uh, definitely we're planning with Ashraf to expand the gaming academy to Cyprus as well, uh, where there are some... Uh, uh, great companies like Wargaming uh, that we are already in touch with, with great interest to collaborate with us. So uh, again, welcome. Uh, you are in good hands and uh, I'm here to support you with whatever you want, you and Ashraf and the team. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Wasim. This was uh, very, very sweet, honestly. Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. Right. Great. Um, so do we have any other questions? Oh, just to give you a quick summary, we talked about, we introduced the Gaming Academy and everything that's involved, so we're good to go. <laughs> Can you make your own team? Yes, absolutely. Uh, AUB, where are you at? This is war, understandable. Um, how do I make sure that I am registered so that I will get a certificate? If you filled in the form and you're going to do the homework, we're going to know that you did what you had to do, so you will get a certificate. So don't worry about it. We'll also ask you at the end to fill a form uh, that you're interested in getting the certificate because some people are just here for the for the vibes. So, uh, you know, this, this will exist as well. Is it okay to use Unity if I have Intel HD graphics uh, 4600? Um, generally, Unity is relatively, relatively efficient, but you can try. And if it doesn't work, you can just team up with a developer that uh, that has a stronger computer. So, you know, it's fine. Um, all right. Okay, uh, the course is placed well. All right. Uh, is there a going to be a competition at the end? Um, no, it's not going to be a competition, but most likely what will happen is you are going to see which games you like best and encourage the teams that are going to win. So it's not really a competition, but um, there's a lot of, like, it's, it's very fun to see everyone pull each other up as we as we go along so instead of telling you that there is going to be a competition it's going to be more of an encouragement for everyone to create things that they're proud of okay the course will focus on a 2d platformer there will not be any 3d stuff this year but we have a lot of 3d uh, um, a few 3d sessions that we gave last year so you can definitely check out our youtube channel and find them there uh, we have basim and yusuf that gave some of these courses and basim is here with us today and he's usually active on the server, so you can ask him questions over there as well. Uh, I'm a computer science student, but I'm in my first year, and I don't have experience related to gaming. That's fine. That's how we all start. We None of us have the experience in gaming before starting with games, and this is targeted toward beginners, so it's fine. All right. Um, people say that game development field have low incomes. Is this right? Um, this is relatively true. Um, when you're looking at a developer working on apps and on uh, different kinds of software, they're usually paid better. Uh, so yes, it's true, uh, but it doesn't mean that they're having more fun than us. So you know that's that's why I'm still in the industry. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, Seventeen new messages. Okay. Okay, I have a mild knowledge of coding. I have finished learning Python language, but I want to develop my programming skills. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's definitely fine to start programming here. I think I'm very confident that the people that are going to teach uh, programming are going to be, uh, they, I, I know them, I've worked with them before, their code is very clean, they really know how to like explain things, so you should be fine. What's the difference between a game designer and a game artist? Uh, a game designer is someone that creates the levels, someone that creates the, the general vibe of the game to a certain extent. 
And there are people that think about what the enemies should look like and why they should look like the way they should. Uh, this is just an example that I'm bringing off the top of my head. Uh, whereas an artist is someone that makes the art that the designer is thinking of to a certain extent. In a masalan, let's say you're playing the game Mario, okay? So the artist would create the pixel art for uh, the, the original Mario game, but the designer would decide what the level would be like. So why is there a Goomba that walks across the screen as soon as you start the game? This is to teach you how to jump and how to kill this. So a designer is the one that creates this kind of thing. Um, but we will talk about this in the design sessions. So don't worry about it. Uh, why is the focus always on Unity, Godot, and Unreal are very good alternatives? Yes, I agree, Ronald. Uh, hi, by the way. Uh, the reason is Unity has a lot of um, support over the entire internet. Uh, Unity and Unreal are currently the top two game engines, but uh, not everyone's computers can run Unity, uh, can run Unreal, sorry. So this is the biggest problem that we have. Uh, I'm personally very interested in Godot, but I'm waiting for a bit more um, support to be available for it, if that makes sense, before we can jump into it. Um, all right, will there be job opportunities at the end? Currently, uh, when you gain the experience that you have, you can more confidently apply to companies, but we don't have anything planned with companies uh, at the moment. All right, um, designer or developer that makes the game characters? Um, no, the developer, okay. So generally the word game developer uh, encompasses everyone that develops a game, uh, but it doesn't mean that they are the only ones that are making the game. Um, so it's the designer is generally the one that kind of um, creates the atmosphere along with the artist, whereas the developer is the one that codes to a certain extent. In your opinion, when do you stop becoming a game dev student and become a game dev? Um, you never stop becoming a student, in my opinion. Uh, you become a game dev the moment you write your first line of code and hit play on any game engine of your, your preference. Okay, game dev is a very blanket term for anyone that makes games. Uh, I usually have an argument with a friend about whether she's an artist or not. She draws, she makes comics, she does her own art, uh, she crochets. She basically creates a ton of things. And I call her an artist. She says, no, I'm not an artist. So this is a conversation that you can have with your friends and it depends on your own standing of what it is. Uh, is there limits or rules on using free assets? Um, yes, there is one important rule, which is credit the original artist. Please, always, always, always credit the people that you are working with. Okay? Can and I be... Do it with their consent, sorry. Yes, absolutely. That's don't, very... don't just take people's work because it's available. Me, me, exactly. Like, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but everything can be free, but like, do, do it ethically, please. Um, so uh, can I be the artist, programmer, level designer, and storyteller at the same time? You can, but a game that might take you a year to finish with a, with a team is going to take you five years alone, but you'll have a lot more control over it. So this is a trade-off that you want to do for yourself. Is the event fully remote, or are there going to be on-site gatherings in each country? Um, most of the team is currently in Lebanon, uh, so we don't have very big reach uh, to other organizers uh, in other places. And we have Hexodus in the UAE. So if you'd like to prepare something over there, we can definitely do something there. We have uh, someone called Khaled in uh, Egypt. He can help us out over there. And we have, uh, you know, most of us are in Lebanon. So if there are events, they aren't going to be part of the Gaming Academy's sessions, but they will just be hangouts for us to have fun. Uh, what engine will we be using Unity? What language will we be using? Uh, yes, thank you, Karim. So we're going to be using English to talk, and the coding language is going to be C Sharp. Uh... Can I use AI assets? We recommend that you don't use them because they don't work that well as of yet. And they're trained on things that have been um, taken without the consent of the artist. So it's better not to use them um, for ethical reasons. And we, we discourage it to a certain extent. And we discourage it actually. Uh, any future plans to support Unreal? Um, I'm gonna answer this with a solid maybe. Uh, we have things planned on the back burner. But uh, we need uh, a bit more support. So there's that. Can we focus on more than one competence? Absolutely. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna ignore this one question. That's fine. Will we be able to publish our game on Steam and Epic? Um, if the game is good enough, then yes. But this depends on what Steam and Epic think. Where you can publish it for sure is um, itch.io. It's a really good place. It's where I published my first game. The first game I didn't destroy accidentally, actually. Um, so it's a really good place to start. 
Um, can we program if we only have Java background? C Sharp is very close to Java, so you're you're gonna do very well, and it's you're you're gonna learn a ton uh, through the basics of development. So don't worry about it. Uh, would joining and finishing give us certificate that is really useful in applying for companies, or is it considered at a stage? Um, the certificate is uh, the certificate is going to be certified by Sale for Change. It, it's certified. The certificate is going to be given by Sale for Change. And uh, what you will have as well on your portfolio is the game you made. So this is the thing that you are going to want to show off. It's the experience that you gained through the Gaming Academy and not the fact that you attended the Gaming Academy. I hope this makes sense. Uh, okay, okay. I don't know what other questions are repeating, Hamdi. Okay, I will not be able to attend on certain days. It's fine, you can just watch the sessions later if they're of interest to you. I have no idea what I am into for each part. This is why you're gonna watch the sessions that you feel like you enjoy. And um, uh, yes, definitely things will be a lot clearer for you because you'll know what you like and you're gonna enjoy uh, certain things more than others. So you'll move forward from there. Uh, okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Okay, uh, I think these are more or less the questions. Will the attending be considered as training in universities? Um, Iza, you can send me a message on Discord. We can talk about this. And I know we had a student that asked if this could be considered as experience and it should not be a problem, but you will have a certain level of, um, like you would need to hit a certain level of, of, of uh, of work, let's say, um, of professionalism before it can be considered as training. Okay, is game dev on Unity similar to iOS and other stuff? Yes. Uh, Ahmed Fuad, please ask me your question again. Um, okay. So um, uh, is game dev on Unity similar to game dev for iOS and Android? So Unity is the engine that you're gonna be using to build the games, and then you can export them to iOS, Android, Linux, uh, Apple Watches, uh, PC, obviously, PS, uh, Xbox, a few issues that you can use that you can't, like you need a license for, and there are others that are free. Uh, so you can use iOS and Android, unless you make over $100,000, then you have to start paying Unity, but I think we should be fine for now. Um, so Adam, you have to attend the sessions uh, that you will take responsibility for with your team. So let's say you are the artist on the team and you wanted to uh, watch only the art sessions because you know coding isn't really your thing, that's fine. But we will need to see that you have made good art in, your, uh, um, in the game that you're presenting or in uh, it, like create good art that you're gonna be sharing with other teams for them to create. Um, I highly encourage that you do attend all the sessions if you can, because there's so much fun. Uh, but if you can't, it's, it's okay, it's not a big deal. So I'm currently a sound designer and a music composer for games and media. And my goal with this course was to improve my game design skills since it's been my dream job, same to be honest. Though with little to no prior programming knowledge, would it still be fine to try uh, doing that this year? Uh, will we be taught programming that we'll need? I would also like to know what kind of tasks I'd be asked as someone that wants to focus on game design. Okay, so this is a four part question-ish. Um, let's start at the beginning. I really like that you're a sound designer and music composer. Um, it's always like a pleasure to meet people that work in, in music. Uh, I actually don't meet too many, so this is really nice to see. Um, you don't have programming knowledge, don't worry about it. Uh, Fuad is gonna take very good care of you. And if there's anything that you want to ask, spam the Discord server. It's not really spam because you're learning, so it's fine. Um, just don't get mad if people don't answer your question directly, because remember, we're all just here to have fun. Uh, this is a very safe space for you to experiment in and for you to try different things out. So just literally have fun. Um, with, okay, I would also like to know what kind of tasks for game design. So you are going to have to design the game. So you're going to say, Masalan, you know, for this platformer, I want the character to be able to only see, I don't know, like four squares in front of them. And I want the game to be uh, tiled and I want the characters to be um, I don't know, let's say pixelated or something of the sort. So pixel art, basically. Um, these aren't the only things a designer does, but I'm giving a very, very shallow example right now. Um, so you would help the team design the game. You would decide what the levels are like. You would balance out the game and see how well it fits. So let's say uh, you created an enemy that's very fun to play against, 
but you always win. Like 100% of the time you win. This is not really an enemy. This is more like cannon fodder, especially if it doesn't do any damage to you. So you'll need to change the numbers as a designer to see what works best for the enemy that you're fighting at the moment. Maybe instead of making it stronger, you just need to make it faster, you know? So this is more or less what the designer would, would do. So as an example, one of the first tasks you're gonna be tasked with as a, uh, for, for the homework would be to create or to design your first level. So yeah. Uh, will you fund really good games, developers and great game ideas? So currently we are running everything for free. Uh, we don't have a budget for anything, um, but we are looking into trying to do something with this. Um, so currently, no, but we would like to. So if you know investors, send them over. Um, do we need to complete a game to have the certificate? The game part is optional or it's the homework that you will be doing. So if you do the homework, then uh, you get the certificate. If you complete a game instead of doing the where we can give you this as well, basically. Um, so it depends on what you're more interested in and whether you have a team and stuff. All right. Uh, is game dev on Unity any similar to... Okay, we answered this question. I don't know why this is like flipping around, so it's fine. Uh, okay. I work as a game dev instructor in uh, Gomi Code Egypt. We actually partnered with EGD to organize a game jam. Who should I contact in the Game Academy to discuss further partnerships? Me? Hello. <laughs> so yeah, definitely just, uh, just hit me up. Um, we'll be using different softwares. Yes, we will. Uh, there is a short list and it was sent to your email. Uh, by the way, if anyone here did not sign up for the Gaming Academy and join directly from the Discord, we do encourage you to sign up because you will get emails from there. Um, but yes, uh, we will be using, for example, Krita, I think, for art and um, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Um, Shekha, you want to try everything? Yes, definitely you can try out everything. But Ahamashi, enjoy it. This is supposed to be fun. It's not it's work. So, you know, just, just enjoy yourself. Okay. Uh, if we work individually, we have to submit our creations as assets for other teams. No, you don't have to share if you don't want to, as Karim said. But it's encouraged for you to share because uh, you'll get some good feedback. You'll have your name on different games. And uh, it's just a really nice thing to do. Um, can I still participate if I'm good at another coding language? Yes, definitely. Can we use other apps instead of Krita? Yes, for sure. But we just want you to use something that uh, is free and is available and is good. So if you're good at other things like Photoshop or something, go for that. Um, okay, let's theorize the game. All right. Um, uh, Ahmad Fuad, we can answer your questions in the Discord server because they do require a bit of a longer form. No team, no problem. Uh, no 3D this year. Okay, I think this is more or less it. Uh, if I'm gonna give you guys 10 more seconds for more questions. And if no one has questions, I think, uh, we should just be good and move forward from there. Yes, the sessions will be uploaded on YouTube. So yes. All right, play. Great, it was really nice to meet all of you. Fantastic mask hex, uh, as always. Um, so it's really nice to meet all of you. Very happy to see you. Uh, Hadi, I'll get your question in a second. Um, and um, yeah, just introduce yourself and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care. And make sure you're here for tomorrow's session because that one won't be recorded and it's going to be great. Very important. Yes. Yalla. See ya. <laughs> Bye, y'all.